Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this banner. It shows you right here what are the materials you will need and I will link everything on the description box. But first, don't forget the free SVG file that I have on my blog at ccdsmith.com and search for the Christmas banner and you will find my blog post along with the free files that you can download for your own cutting machine software. So let's just go to design space and I've already downloaded the file so Let's go to upload, upload, then browse. Find the file where you saved it, and mine is on my default folder. And right here, just name the file, and you can also put tag on them if you'd like, then click save. Click on the image and just insert. As you can see, the image is quite big, which you can go up on the top panel and just resize it, no biggie. So right here, when you click on the image, when you see ungroup is visible, it means that the image is already grouped. So no matter where I click on the image, they will move all together on my canvas. I'm just going to bring this up in the corner so I can resize it by dragging the bottom right arrow on the image. I want the shapes to be at least four inches and you can see it right here. Now I'm just going to click make it. This is the preview screen before we cut. It shows you how many mats will be used and where they are being cut on the mat. Right now it shows three mats right here, one, two, and three. And you can zoom out and zoom in if you like. You can change the material size right here which I will not be changing this one because the paper I have for this is 12 by 12 already. But I'm going to click on mat number two so I can change it to eight and a half by 11 because that is the card stack I have and will be using for this cut. It will automatically create another mat and move the images that doesn't fit. Now let's go back to mat number one and click continue. My settings are always on custom, so on my screen, let's go to browse all materials, type paper, and hit enter. Scroll down, and I'm going to choose light pattern paper, and click done. Prepare your mat and material, load it to your machine, and hit start, and it will just start cutting. Once it's done cutting, just unload and remove the material from the mat. Now showing you on mat number two, click on this drop down here so we can change our material. Let's go to browse all materials, type craft and hit enter. Choose craft cardstock and click done. So just go and load the mat onto your machine then click start and it will just start cutting. Once it's done cutting, it will automatically go to the next mat onto your screen. As you can see, this will be a repeat process from what I had shown you earlier. Remove the material away from the mat and right here I'm using a spatula to help me pick up the little pieces without ruining the paper. I will start with my double-sided tape, run it in all sides, and then place it on top of the craft cardstock. And then I will be using a foam mounting tape to place it on the back of the tree. I'm just going to cut a piece of this and place it on the center. Then I'm going to stick it on top of the patterned paper. So 
So I'm just going to do the same thing on all of the pieces so I can go ahead and fast forward so we can move to the next step. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to line them up so I can see how the banner will look. I like to put a piece of tape on the end of the twine only because the holes were a bit small and it will be easier for me to insert them in. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to grab that free file on my blog. I will link everything under the description box in case you guys need it. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.